In this video, I'm gonna be going over setting up Claude code on my computer and then actually using it to code using Claude code or Vibe code. And we're gonna be testing out building a couple features with Claude code. And the reason that I'm doing this is because on our stream lately, I've been getting asked a lot what my thoughts are on Claude code. And I've actually never used it. Over here on my screen, uh, you can see that this is a cursor. And I mainly use cursor. I've been using cursor for about six months now. And um, that's the IDE that I use now by default because of how good it is um, with its text editor as well as its AI agent, um, very powerful. So um, if you haven't tuned in and this is your first time watching, what we're working on right now on our streams is we're building an app called Goalpost that you can see. And in the past couple days, we've made significant progress on this app. And um, essentially what this app is, is it's in uh, a productivity app for creating goals, sharing goals with your friends, and being able to actually track your progress towards your goals. And we've been working on this and we've been building it with uh, just AI and just cursor and we've been vibe coding. And a lot of people have tuned in um, to watch this and, and the channel is really starting to gain some traction. So if you're new here, uh, like and subscribe. But yeah, we're just gonna go over how to get Claude code set up on your computer and we're gonna actually test out building a couple features with goalposts to kind of compare and contrast against what, at least what I'm used to with cursor and um, see if Claude code is actually better. So the first thing that you have to do when setting up uh, Claude code is you actually have to go to, I'm gonna drop a link in the description, but you have to go to their website. Um, and Claude code is only available on their max plan. So you can see here the max plan, um, Claude code is included in your pro plan. It's perfect for short coding sprints and smaller code bases with Claude Sonnet 4. For their max plan, 5X, Claude code is included in your max plan. Great value for everyday use in larger code bases with access to both Claude Sonnet 4 and Claude Opus 4.1. So they have some better models available for max users. But I'm just gonna click try Claude on, uh, actually, I have, uh, let me sign in real quick. Let's say. All right. So, okay, so as you can see here, it, it wants me to upgrade to max already. So let's not upgrade to max. We're gonna upgrade to, uh, hold up here. Let's go back to um, Anthropic. Okay, so we have to go to Claude. And uh, so the first thing that you're gonna have to do if you wanna use Claude code is you have to upgrade to one of the paid plans, unfortunately. So we're not gonna use the max because that's a little bit excessive, but we're gonna do pro. You can see you can access Claude code directly in your terminal. So let's get the pro plan here. I'm gonna hide this real quick so I can enter my credit card information. All right, so we just upgraded to the pro plan. It was $20. So in order to access Claude code, it's gonna be about 20 bucks. And now let's go over to, um, again, that link. So I'm trying to find here. Okay, here it is. So. To install Claude code, you're gonna have to run this command here. Um, npm install global at Anthropic AI Claude code. Let's pull up our terminal. All right. All right, so we're gonna run our command. Okay. 
So now that that's been created, um, let's see what we have to do next. So there's nothing on the website about how to run Claude code, but let's ask ChatGBT, let's figure out what we need to do. This should, uh... okay, so it says once you've installed Claude code, the command to start it is Claude. So you literally just enter Claude. So how to run, you open a terminal or command prompt. You navigate to your project directory, and then in the terminal, you simply type Claude, and then you're able to actually run it. So let's test this. Um, let's open up cursor and we'll use We'll close cursor as it is, and then let's just let's take this. So we want to use actually let's run the let's run this. Something that I want to do is I want to run. So I'm just going to run Claude here. Okay. So it says uh, let's get started. Choose the text style that looks best with your terminal dark mode. Dark mode. Okay. Um, so it says select login method. So you can either select Claude account with subscription or Anthropic console account and you get billed using the API. Okay, interesting. So technically I didn't have to upgrade, but there's two login methods. You can either use Claude code just with your standard subscription where the rates of your subscription are gonna apply, or you can do API usage billing, which is gonna require you to get the um, a, a token. But let's just do um, this first one since we just did that. Okay. All right, login successful. Okay, it says security notes. Claude can make mistakes due to prompt injection risks. Only use it with code you trust. Okay. It says for the optimal coding experience, enable the recommended settings for your terminal. Shift plus enter for new lines. All right, we'll use recommended settings. Uh, do you trust the files in this folder? Yes, proceed. Okay. Okay. All right, so I think we're now in it. So can we technically ask anything? So let's just see, how does the navigation system work? Okay, so it says how many tokens it's used, which is nice. Okay, so it's talking about what files. Wow, so it says read 50 lines, read 50 lines. Okay, and I wonder if we can ask it to actually like start the app. I will say though, you know, 50 seconds that it's been thinking, and yes, it did just get access to this repository and this is the first question I'm asking it but you know 60 seconds to ask it how the navigation system works cursor would be able to solve this no problem like watch this if I just open the agent sidebar here and I use Claude Force Sonnet so I'll literally use the same model that I'm using with Claude code but I'll just use it in cursor and I drop the repo in and ask the same question how does the navigation system work So this, this thought for like a whole minute and then came back and it says, which is between auth and main stacks. Yep. Correct, correct, yep. Yep. 
Yeah, so I did a good job. But a minute to get that information. And then look at what Cursor is doing. Cursor's, Cursor went into it and it read all the respective files and now it just created a visualization chart. <laughs> Literally just created this in under a minute. So this is how the app works. Yeah. I mean, I have a hard time thinking that Claude code is is better than cursor. <laughs> you know, just in a simple question, you know, in in le in the in way less time, cursor using the same model just via cursor was able to give me all this information. It was able to generate a navigation system structure diagram and give me all this. I mean, and it did it in less time than Claude Code took to answer our prompt. So now let's take a look and see, like let's have it build a feature, right? Let's, uh, so let's launch, let's launch the, the app directory and run, and here run start. And then, uh, okay. Um, so let's check this out now. So let's actually now, test it with a prompt. So let's give it something simple, but different, but similar for both. So there's this goal insight. So let's do, please find the AI coach screen and help me improve the user interface to be more modern and simplistic. And then can I drop in screenshots to Cloud Code? Because if I can't, that is a big difference. Uh, I don't know if, is that, is that gonna be able to actually read it? Because that's just a local. Uh, okay, so it, so it asks me if it can read that file. I'm gonna say yes, you can read that file. Okay, it did read the image. You can see it says, it says red image. So you can drop images in, which is good. A big question though is, I wonder what the cost difference is for these. So it's gonna modernize header design with cleaner layout that improve welcome screen. And it's gonna, oh wow. But that that actually did, uh, this here isn't even following my, the, the request that I wanted to make because the original request was just about improving the AI coach screen, not, updating the welcome screen with better onboarding. That wasn't in the, that was not in my, in my uh, prompt. But let's see what it does for this screen. But yeah, I mean, wait, how do, how do I make it stop? Control C? Okay, Control C, you can, you can exit it. Let's reload the app, bundle it again. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you, if you look at that, it definitely just got confused and let's see how many changes it actually made. I mean, it had an, it has a nice, it, it simplified the, uh, the header and then it gave like a nice, um, animation. If you notice that when it look, these, these like pop in, which is nice, but now watch this. Let's go over to, to Claude for Sonnet and then give it the same prompt. So the to-do list here 
only has to do's related to what I asked it. So that's very interesting. Like Claude Code got confused there. It says improve welcome screen with better onboarding, redesign suggestion pills with modern styling, enhance input field design for better. You know, it has just this uh, improve the welcome screen. I have no idea where that came from, uh, but that's just, so that's just interesting. Okay, interesting. It chose to stack these instead of doing horizontal scrolling. I don't know, what do you think? You like, do you guys like that better or not? I mean, yeah, I just, I think that uh, Cursor takes the cake for sure. Um, yeah, Cursor's, Cursor's at the top of the AI agent vibe coding world because not only do you have access to Claude models, but you also have access to all the other models. And you can see that, you know, Claude Code is slower. It's not, it doesn't have all those models, obviously, because it's only going to be anthropic models. It uh, got confused in the to-dos. And at the end of the day, like the updates that it made actually weren't that impressive. It didn't really think, it's almost like it didn't think enough about what it wanted to do. And it just was very, very slow. Whereas, Cursor, in my opinion, does a better job at like showing its work, showing its thinking. The to-do lists are more accurate. Um, so for me, if I'm if I'm new and I'm and I'm choosing whether or not to uh, game the system and get really good at using Cursor or use Claude Code and get really good at using Claude Code, I'm going to use Cursor all the way. And it just did an error here, but let's see if it fixes it. Yeah, it fixes it immediately. Yeah, I mean, I like I like what it did. Yeah, cursor, cursor versus clawed code. I, I don't know. I'm gonna choose uh, claw uh, cursor for sure. So, all right, that's gonna wrap it up uh, for all the all, all of you that were asking me to use Claude code and uh, try it out. I've done it. I don't I don't really like it. I don't like Claude code. I think that cursor is better. All right.